Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Uh, I'm excited for this video. Um, today we're going to be doing a throttle body swap on my Airs. Um, we're going to do specifically the 1ZZ throttle body swap. So this is a throttle body I got off eBay. Uh, it's a used part. It's from a 2004 to 2005 Corolla. It has a bigger intake diameter for the throttle body. So we're going to replace the 1NZ throttle body that I have on, which is currently the stock one. And we're going to replace it with this one. So I'm super excited. I've been waiting for all these parts to come in over the course of last year. And big thanks to um, Corpion Multimedia for his video on how to do a 1ZZ throttle body swap. I watched his video on how to do this. I got a lot of the parts I needed from his video. So big thanks to him. I'll post a link to his video in the description below and yeah so without further ado let's just jump right in and start doing this all right so the first thing we want to do before we go ahead and do the throttle body swap is we're going to want to disconnect the battery so we're going to have to disconnect the negative terminal however for me i have this big tanabi strut bar that i installed a long time ago that is in the way right now so right now i'm going to go ahead and disconnect the strut bar right here just move this out of the way just so i can disconnect the battery the negative terminal of the battery now that the battery is connected, we can go ahead and remove my intake. So this is the k intake that I installed. So we're going to want to disassemble it to get to the throttle body, which is over here. So there's a couple things we got to remove. First, we're going to start with this filter. I'm just going to remove this guy. All right. Filter out of the way. The thing we want to do is disconnect the mass airflow sensor. gonna loosen this PCV valve hose that goes to the back disconnect that push that aside then we just gotta disconnect this bolt here which holds this guy right here all right and then that just kind of moves out of the way and then we want to take off the intake tube bracket underneath that's hiding. Forgot about that one. All right, there we go. Here is the one NZ throttle body. And then this is the one ZZ throttle body. So you can already see that it's a lot bigger than the original stock part, so Right now we're going to go ahead and remove this guy. Also, you want to make sure to disconnect your coolant lines. Um, if you want to find out more information on which lines to use, I would suggest watching Scorpion Multimedia's video. Uh, he talks about if you have a aluminum filler neck, for the coolant and you want to do a bypass he talks about that um, I have a plastic one so I'll be reusing the coolant lines but that's also what you want to disconnect Oop. dropped a little bit of coolant that's all right I have a rag just so I can not spill any. So I loosen that one, loosen this one. Just want to disconnect the connection here for the throttle body. There you go. That's also disconnected. Easier. 
So here's the 1NZ throttle body. As you can see, smaller compared to the larger 1ZZ throttle body. But before we go ahead and install this, I'm going to go ahead and clean this. Uh, obviously, you can see because this is a used throttle body, there's a lot of gunk in here. It's anything on the back side, especially the back side. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this real quick and then go ahead and install it. Um, got a toothbrush so I can scrape off all this old junk. So, yeah. I'm also just gonna scuff up this edge right here real quick right where the gasket sits just so it has a nice clean finish just try to take off any of these high spots make this surface nice and clean it's just a scotch bright Clean the front, the back side, clean this surface so it's nice and smooth with the scotch brights. Uh, went ahead and cleaned around this right part right here. This is where the intake will be. I have a tube that sits over here. But clean this surface just so it's, you know, clean because there's some paint marking on it and just some old. Um, dirt and stuff so I just went ahead and took a wire brush scraped off the old paint cleaned it up so it has a better finish or better fit a cleaner fit um, took off the writing here this is it just said Corolla 04 to 05 and then, yeah so now this throttle body is ready to go on here we have the stock 1NZ throttle body. It's kind of hard to see, but that's the part number 22030 21030. So, this is the stock one that comes with the car. Um, as you can see, really small diameter. Right. And then, this is the one NZ throttle body. Definitely a lot bigger. Um, sorry for the, the paint is in the way, but I'll put the correct number that is on there on the screen. But, so yeah, definitely a bigger diameter front and rear. So this is my caliper here. Right now I have it set to inches. I'll go ahead and measure this diameter first. It's about 2.16 inches, or if you want to see in millimeters, it's to millimeters. It's about 54, 55 millimeters in diameter. Take a look at the inside. So the inside diameter about about 45 millimeters. So then compare it to this guy, the one CZ. It's already it's a bigger diameter, 60 to 65 millimeters. And take a look at the ID. About 55 millimeter diameter ID. So definitely 
a lot bigger. Matter of fact, I mean, you can basically like if this fits inside here, it's a lot of play. <laughs> like, that's a lot of room. So, this is all ready to go. Let's go to it. All right, before we go ahead and put on the new throttle body, I'm gonna go ahead and replace this gasket here. So this is the new gasket. So this is part number right there. So that will be replacing the one in there. Hey guys, uh, sorry to interrupt the video. Uh, I was just editing it and there was something I noticed when I was editing the video. That I forgot to mention when I was installing the 1ZZ throttle body. So this is the old gasket that I took off my car. Um, the new one is exactly the same size and everything but the interesting thing about this is so the ID of this is about 52 millimeters and the OD is about 58. Now if you this is my 1NZ throttle body, but just imagine that this is the 1ZZ for the moment. Um, so the ID of the 1ZZ was about 55 millimeters in diameter on the ID. So because this gasket is about 52 to 58 and the ID of the 1ZZ sits at 55, that means this gasket will essentially be sitting right on the edge of like this metal right here where the throttle body sits and then there's where it meets this gasket as well so basically yeah this gasket will be sitting on this edge so that could be a bad thing because it could potentially lead to some air leakage past the throttle body um, because this is not prop allowing it to properly seat against it creating like a vacuum kind of thing um, so there are ways you can try and get around this you could try and make a gasket using like gasket maker uh, I know they sell those kind of like it's like a gooey kind of thing um, you can try using that you just gotta be careful not to get any on the ID of this or else it'll get sucked into your engine um, you don't want that to happen you also could try using gasket sheets I know they sell some you could try making your own gasket by um, basically copying this bolt pattern like tracing it out and then just cutting it out and then that will provide a sealing surface against the gasket and the internals of the intake so you get that nice vacuum seal when the throttle is open um, but yeah just something to be aware of if you guys don't want to try and you know just use this to hopefully try and seal this up I might end up actually doing this later on if I find problems with my throttle body but so far I'm having none so just something to be aware of so back to the video so before we go ahead and replace it i'm gonna go ahead and clean it so to take this off uh, there's a little tab up here you just pull on this tab the tab here you just pull it and then that will come off so i'm just gonna go ahead real quick clean inside there and then put the new gasket in. It just goes right inside here. Sweet. All right, so I was doing a test fit up of the one ZZ throttle body and in the video that Scorpion Multimedia talks about using replacing one of the hoses with this part number right here um, if you're doing a swap if you have the original plastic filler body on um, that's to replace the coolant line because it's supposed to go the original one goes to here one of them goes to here the other one goes to the back. Now, the one on the back is this one right here. This one's relatively short. So this one has no problem 
reaching the, the back one. But I think the other one was the one that I was concerned about, which he mentions to use a longer holes to connect to the front one. But I think when I was comparing the bodies, I was thinking, hey, if I can just rotate this guy to be like this, it might work. I might not have to replace the entire hose assembly. Same thing with this line. I'll just probably rotate it back so it looks like this. So, I believe it's possible to do. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a rag, just cover, cover this guy up. Take the pliers and I'm just gonna rotate it. Oh, yep, it's moving. There we go. Oh, perfect. So I think I got it to look almost like, yeah, that might work. Now I'm just going to turn this back one so it looks like this one. Perfect. That works. So that should actually make it a lot easier now to connect, reuse the old hoses. Yeah, I think this will work. I gotta reconnect the holes first before I install the throttle body. <laughs> Makes it a little bit easier. So. one's in so I had to bend this one up a little bit more so that I can connect this hose easier but this guy got is good now we're gonna go ahead and connect the other hose to this one is connected didn't have to disconnect it from the rear and now I can finally put this one in now that everything's tight we we'll put this bracket back on Throttle body connector. Just goes right in. Just like that. And there's this bracket, it goes over here. And that secures this bracket. Alright, so before we go ahead and put on the cane and intake, um, there's one thing we have to replace. So this is the intake tube for the cane and intake. Um, and there's this rubber coupling here. Now this diameter here, normally it was originally made for this one. So you can see it fits right on. However, because the new throttle body is bigger, this won't fit. Right, see, simply too small. So what I could do is I could enlarge this, make it fit over this, and then reverse this one and put it on there. However, there's an easier way to do this. That is to get a 
coupling. So here, this is a Mishimoto coupler. This is a 2.5 inch diameter straight coupler. And I did a little bit of research and found out that the diameter of this one is also 2.5. This should fit right on the end. So in addition, I got some new clamps for the couplers. I got these off of Amazon. So this should also fit around this coupler. Just gonna disconnect this old one. Just take this off. Just like that. That's the old coupler. Rag real quick, wipe this down so it's nice and clean. Something on the inside. Alright, run into a small issue. So on the cane and intake, there's this bracket right here. There's this bracket that bolts into a bolt over here, connects to here. However, it's not lining up because with the bigger diameter of the throttle body, it's actually hitting on this side. So therefore I can't put this in. And it's preventing me from trying to push this all the way back so I think I'm gonna have to take this bracket off and get rid of it it's only a support bracket so it's not really an issue but. This guy, mass airflow sensor. And the intake cable on. Only thing left to do is connect it to the negative battery. Alright, this is the moment of truth. We're gonna try it out. All right, seems to be holding steady now. So I got no check engine light. It's idling nicely, just under 1000 RPM. Um, so when it did first start, it was up to like 3000. It was fluctuating between three and one, or three and two, sorry. So just fluctuating as you heard earlier. And then it just adjusted itself and then it just slowly brought it down to now just under a thousand so it's idling pretty steady now yeah, everything seems to be holding make sure all these clamps are tight so there's no air leaks um, seems pretty secure so yeah looks good so far 
I'm gonna go ahead and go take it for a test drive now. Okay, so we're gonna go on a test run real quick. I'm just gonna go drive around the neighborhood, make sure everything is good, and just try to get a feel for the new throttle body. So this is gonna be the first. I let the engine cool down a little bit. Um, I'm gonna try and start it up again. So here we go. All right, so, so far so good. Everything's normal. on hills is where it kind of bogs down or actually going uphill is where it kind of bogs down so I'm going down I'm gonna try and turn around and go back up and see how that does all right here we go turn around response is a lot better the throttle response is a lot better okay there's another hill over here another steep hill so luckily my neighborhood has like some steep hills I can try and test it out that first hill was not as steep compared to this one so, all right let's try this out I live all the way on the mountain so Okay guys, so that was it for this video, um, as you can tell, um, the throttle body was a great success, um, feels good, the car feels good, um, I'll have to test it out a lot more uh, as I drive to work every day, um, but first impressions so far, um, that was a pretty easy swap, honestly, um, just make sure you get the correct parts, um, I'll list the part numbers and the car years that you can get a 1ZZ throttle body from. Additionally, you can also look at Scorpion Multimedia's video on how to do a 1ZZ uh, throttle body swap uh, for more information if you want. But yeah, I'll link some part numbers below, um, some product links like for the Mishimoto couplers or the, um, the bands that I use. Um, yeah, I mean, this is I don't know why I haven't done this upgrade earlier <laughs> or sooner, um, but I'm so far I'm happy with it, and yeah, uh, we'll we'll just have to monitor it. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, I got a lot more upgrades to do for this car. Um, like I'm not gonna say, <laughs> but yeah, I got some more upgrades going on. So stay tuned for those videos, and I'll catch you in the next one. Shoots.